Spence and, and Al Heyman, they're, they're just negotiating against themselves. Like they're trying to. What's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Blue Blood Sports TV. Back at y'all with another one. So what you hear is the voice of retired, legendary, iconic, Hall of Fame, superstar, Olympic gold medalist, two-division world champion, and Andre S.O.G. Ward. Retired, 32 wins, no loss, no draw, 16 wins by way of knockout, six feet tall with a 71-inch arm reach. Orthodox fighter, very slick, uh, very aggressive. Uh, we last saw him in the ring June of 2017 when he stopped Sergey Krusha Kovalev via eighth round stoppage victory. With that said, Andre Ward is a colorful analyst and boxing pundit for ESPN and top ranked boxing. Okay. Andre Ward, he gives his thoughts and he weighs in on the highly anticipated, undisputed welterweight world champion show, ship showdown. The biggest fight in the sport of boxing between undefeated, three-division world champion, former junior welterweight undisputed world champion, currently the reigning WBO, World Boxing Organization, welterweight world champion, who is widely considered by many to be the number one best pound-for-pound -pound fighter in the world, and Terrence Bud Crawford. Terrence Crawford is 38 wins, no loss, no draw, 29 big wins by way of knockout. He is 35 years of age, 5'8", with a 74-inch arm reach, an undefeated, unified, three-belt, WBC, WBA, IBF, welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, who is widely considered by many to be top two, if not number one, definitely top five, best pound-for-pound -pound fighters in the world, in Earl The Truth Spence Jr. Earl Spence Jr., 32 wins, uh, excuse me, 28 wins, no loss and no draw, 22 big wins by way of knockout, 32 years of age, five foot nine and a half with a 72-inch arm reach. It's the biggest fight in the sport of boxing. It's the fight that all the fans want to see, the boxing punish media and the world, okay? You even have uh, uh, casual uh, entertainers, uh, whether it be musicians, actors, athletes, other athletes. They all are anticipating this fight. You even had legendary retired Hall of Fame iconic NBA superstar in Allen Iverson. Allen Iverson is on record picking out his outfit for Terrence Crawford Errol Spence fight. Allen Iverson is picking out his outfit for the Terrence Crawford Errol Spence fight. Okay? Already. That just lets you know how big of a magnitude this fight is. And this fight is on pause because of politics. Okay? Simply because of politics behind the scenes has this fight on pause. Again, like I said, it's the biggest fight in the sport of boxing. It's for all the marbles, undisputed. The last time we had welterweight fights of this magnitude, you had Oscar De La Hoya versus Tito Trinidad. You had uh, um, Sugar Ray Leonard versus Tommy the Hitman Hearns. Okay? Uh, um, these are huge, huge fights. And this fight... Is tinkering on that same level, just like you had a uh, Floyd Mill with a Manny Pacquiao. This is one of those massive fights, and the politics of the sport of boxing is preventing this fight from coming to fruition. And Andre S O G Ward, he says that it's PBC Premier Boxing Champion, founder and advisor Al Heyman, and Errol Spence's team that are preventing this fight from happening. And Andre Ward is going to go on to say that. They can't have everything in their favor because Terrence Crawford is not just some uh, 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 opponent. He's not just a, another opponent. Terrence Crawford is arguably the best fighter in the world. I have him as number one. Terrence Crawford is a three-division undisputed champion. Terrence Crawford is 50% of the biggest fight in the sport of boxing between the two. Without Terrence Crawford, there is no fight that's bigger than Errol Spence and Terrence Crawford. There is no fight. There's no fight for Errol Spence that can be bigger than Errol Spence fighting Terrence Crawford right now. It's the biggest fight in the sport of boxing. Period. Hands down. Hands down. It's the biggest fight in the sport of boxing. Hands down. Okay? And so with that said, right, the politics is standing in the way of Terrence Crawford Errol Spence. 
And Terrence Crawford now is a network promotional free agent. We don't have top rank and ESPN and legendary promoter, top rank CEO Bob Arum standing in the way. Terrence Crawford last fought a PBC fighter, two-time welterweight world champion, superstar boxer, retired future Hall of Famer, Showtime Sean Porter. November 20th of 2021. That was a PBC fighter. Terrence Crawford became a network promotional free agent immediately after the fight, looking to secure the Errol Spence fight. Errol Spence has stated on record that uh, after, before his fight, April 16th, Arlington, Texas, AT&T, Dallas Cowboys Stadium against WBA, World Boxing Association, welterweight former world champion, Cuban star boxer, your Danish Ugas. Errol Spence stated that they were already in motion making plans to fight Terrence Crawford. Hence the reason why he had the shirts already made, the the, the post was already on deck uh, uh, to, to, to go out and, and call out Terrence Crawford. Everything was already in place and ready to be set in motion to stage the biggest fight in boxing. And yet, seven months later, we are no closer to getting this fight than we was at that time in April. We are no closer to getting this fight than Terrence Crawford was still signed with top rank and Bob Arum and ESPN. We are no closer to getting this fight done. A deal done. And it's a shame. And so Andre Ward is on record as saying that he believes it's Al Heyman and Errol Spence. Now, I personally talked to Terrence Crawford. He stated that he's willing to take a 65-35 split in favor of Terrence, uh, Errol Spence. He's willing to take no back-end money, no guaranteed money up front. Okay? Uh, he just wants to make sure... He do his due diligence and get the necessary money he's deserved should the, when the fight is over, right? And he's agreed to all of these things. And he himself stated he believes Errol Spence wants to fight, that Errol Spence's team and his people behind him, they don't want to make the fight happen. They dragging their feet on making this fight happen. And so Terrence Crawford, he stated he's willing to do, and he's going above and beyond to uh, secure this fight. So let's listen to what Andre Wall had to say regarding this. Too hard to get to get everything. I understand, you know, I love Spence. I consider him a brother. But in these situations, man, you can't go so far when you blow up the deal. Terrence Crawford ain't some bum who brings nothing to the table. I don't care. That's what I was just saying, right? Terrence Crawford is not just a an, another opponent for Errol Spence. He is 50% of the biggest fight in the sport of boxing. He makes for 50% of the biggest fight in the sport of boxing. Okay? He's not... He is a world champion. He's a former undisputed champion. He has never lost. The reason... A big part of the reason that this fight is so big and so massive and it's, undispu and it's undisputed is because of what Terrence Crawford brings to the table. So, I agree that Earl Spence is the A-side. I agree that Earl Spence should get the lion's share of the money because he's proven to do the bigger numbers. He's proven to sell out the a bigger stadiums. He's proven to be a bigger star. But does that mean Terrence Crawford has no value? No, that don't mean Terrence Crawford has no value. That means he brings big value to the table. Earl Spence brings big value to the table. Terrence Crawford brings big value to the table. Terrence Crawford is not just a, another opponent. He's just not. Okay? And he need to be treated as such, as well as Errol Spence, and we need to get this fight. About the trinkets in the belt. I get undisputed. I get all that. But you can get a belt walking down the street if you got enough money these days. So he said that, you know, uh, he understands that, you know, uh, Errol Spence has, you know, um, he understands that Errol Spence has majority of the belts. Terrence Crawford did have all the belts at one point in time. So he said that you could get a belt walking down the street, you know, for, for a certain amount of dollars these days, right? Uh, and it's just ironic to me, right? And it's disappointing that Terrence Crawford reportedly is being uh, dismissed, like he don't have much value in this fight. And that's a shame because Terrence Crawford has a lot of value, okay? Uh, and Terrence Crawford brings, you know, uh, um, a lot of pedigree with him. 
and he does have a fanfare. Now, is his fan uh, uh, fan base as big as to Errol Spence? No. Has he sold more than Errol Spence? No. But does he bring value to the fight? Absolutely. He brings more value to this fight with Errol Spence than any other fighter that Errol Spence has ever fought. And vice versa. And I think they both need to be treated as such. And I think ultimately, not just the fighters, but the fans need to be respected. The fans need to be respected, period. So let's see how this unfolds. I don't believe it's happening this year. That's all I got for y'all. Make sure you hit the like button. Drop a comment in the comment section. Let me know what y'all think. Y'all already know what it is. It's your boy, Blue. Blue Blood Sports TV. Hate, like, comment, and subscribe. You haven't subscribed. Hit the subscribe button. Hit the like button. Hit the bell icon to get all the new notification. Follow me on Instagram at Blue Blood Sports TV. All in one word. Y'all already know what it is. Shout out to the entire LDBC. Shout out to Black Media Row. Make sure you like your shitty videos. That's all I got for y'all. Peace.